All right, hello, and welcome to this very first playthrough of Kronos Before the Ashes. Last time we <coughs> did some more exploring around the original area that we started at, and we found the stone golem. We were able to get to him because we had of the key that we had gotten near the Cyclops. <coughs> and um, <coughs> we killed him, and we took his eye to the blacksmith, and he made us a weapon that we don't need. So thanks a lot, Mr. Go Mr. Blacksmith. Uh, so now we are going to... Uh, we have a hot lead. We're going to take the painting piece that we found, and we're going to put it in the painting. And I need to remember where we went to do that. And I will. I just need to... Just need to think on it for a moment. Yes, I remember. It's this way. I think everybody over here is dead. It's this way. So yeah, we're gonna figure out what the deal is with that foot with that that painting. I don't know what that deal is with that. I assume it's going to, like, warp us into another area of the game. Forgot this guy was here. Forgot I haven't killed anyone on this side of the... <clears throat> on down this way uh, since I died. Alright. Come on. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> Save it all the ways to the next level. Okay. These guys. Excuse me! Oh, fuck you. Are you kidding me? Oh, good, I got a level anyway. Alright. No problem, I'll take it. Still just doing agility and vitality for now. Put 30 attribute points into agility. Put 30 attribute points into vitality. Okay. <clears throat> um. Alright. I believe there is... Is there, I don't remember if there... I think there might be one enemy down here. I don't remember. No. No, there's not any. Because I remember I kept expecting somebody to jump down from the cliffs, and then nobody ever did. All right, so let's see what this is. Let's see what this does. Hmm. The hell? Hi, sir. Okay. 
guy wasn't so bad. Yeah, okay. This, I was expecting something along that line. Something that would allow us to go into another area. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully there will be some boss in this area that we can kill. Maybe the second guardian. I guess the stone golem wasn't one of those. Oh, this is a very different looking place. Oh, we can just walk back through the painting if we want to? That's interesting. Okay. This has, like, uh, I'm getting, like, mist vibes from this. The, f the canopy village. With all the bridges and stuff? Oh, yeah, definitely. Very mist-like. Oh, shit. Hi, sir. Okay. Are we gonna... Are we doing this? They're fast, but they don't have any way to block. And they seem to be easily staggered, so that's good. As long as you can dodge backwards fast enough, they don't seem too bad. These guys aren't so bad. They give a lot of XP, too. Let's go. Alright, let's see what's in this. Another one of those things. I don't understand what those are. But, um, maybe when we want to upgrade our weapon more, we can look into it. How much does it cost to upgrade this weapon? Five? And we have 21? And it only adds th five damage. My le Every level I, I get adds almost that much. I don't know, it just doesn't seem that important to me. It seems like it would be more important on a better agility scaling weapon, which I haven't found yet! Okay, so this is the only way forward. I think. Pretty sure. Good fuck, nerd. Yeah, we've almost got another level. One more of those enemies and we will have another level.
So sorry. I had an emergency I had to deal with. Anyway, what were we doing? Alright, we're killing these guys. We're in the tree bridges. Right, okay. Where did I come from? Here, yes, okay. Yes, we came from here. We killed the guy, the fast guy. Without much of an issue. These guys aren't so bad, but they do give a lot of XP. Have we gained that level? No. But we will with the next enemy we kill, almost certainly. Okay, what are we walking into here? Is there anybody down there? No. Okay, what about the next level? Okay, pretty linear so far. No choices yet. And that remains true. Just one way forward. It's got me backed up a little farther than I want to be. Fuck you. Alright, we're good. Uh-oh, damage only goes up one there. Should we start putting points into something else? Oh, and our, our health only goes up by 15 now. Arcane, maybe? Let's do that. We'll start putting stuff into Arcane. This guy looks... This guy's different. He's got a different move set. He's got a different weapon type. All right, it wasn't too bad. Okay. Still the only way forward, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we've got multiple enemies here. Is it just the two? Oh good, did I just aggro the one? Good. Why does that they don't get too close to me? <clears throat> oh, this is the this is the other move type. Okay, <clears throat> good. Doing good. Almost got that next level already. Okay, this appears to still be the only way forward. We haven't even seen like an alternate path that's blocked yet or anything. Any locked door no locked doors, no puzzles that can't be solved yet, nothing like that. It's just a linear path so far. It's nice and simple. Okay, now 
this guy looks big. Is big. Too bad. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> okay, chugging along. Making good progress. Gets one of the sword guys. Yeah, they seem to, the soft caps seem to be at 30. Where that start, you start getting a lot less bang for your buck on the levels. XP. I'm getting another level every three or four enemies, it seems like. Maybe four or five. I don't know, but it's good. Let's see. We've got 13, 1339 right now. Let's see how much this we have after this guy. Fuck you. Alright, we had 1339, we now have 2040. So, 700. 701. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it only takes 3300 to level up. So, that's about every, yeah, four to five enemies. For the moment. Okay, it's another big boy. 2040 is what we have. I'm curious to know how much I get from this guy. Oh, bullshit. Say 2040, 2873, so 833 from that guy. So, yeah, we'll get another level with the next one. Let's see if we can. How about another smaller enemy so that we can get that level? We only need, yeah, we're close enough. The next enemy we kill will level us up again. Still the only way forward. Oh no, is this the boss? I guess I've got I've got two heals. I can probably handle it. Oh no, it's a save spot. Okay. Those haven't ended up being as important as I thought as they normally are for Souls Likes, because you can't rest at them. You get your healing back. 
and you don't die that often, I, or I, I haven't died that often, so I haven't had to respawn at them very often. The fact that you get your health back when you gain levels has just really changed everything. Okay, for the first time we have a choice. came from the tree. Let's go left. Seems like the music is coming from this way, so this could be like a friendly NPC or something. Yep. Somebody up there playing music. Doesn't strike me as a violent type, but I can't get up there. from the other side. Don't forget you can go that other way, Nick. Let's just remember that. Keep that in our back pocket. And that looks interesting. Okay. Um, another locked door? No. Unlocked. Hey! You okay? Okay, no, we definitely haven't been here. Okay, so now we've got three different ways that we could go. Suddenly lots of choices. We're going to continue going left. No ambushes lately. Oh, for a second I thought I heard something. Oh, what's that? This looks like a place where I might fight a boss. Okay, I can't get through that though. Okay. We'll definitely need to come back to that. It looks like that path might open up once we do something. New batch of trap tethers. Foriad's experiment with entwined silk did not work as intended. We need more of the gut threads. You won't be getting them from me. Nobody touches my gut threads. Uh... <clears throat> three of those now. Can I get an agility scaling weapon, please? Still using my very first weapon. The hammer was good for a while, but at this point... 113. Does the same amount of damage. You know what? I'm gonna go back to the... the I'm gonna go back to the hammer. Ooh, I don't hate that idea. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, because I, I liked the hammer moveset. It's got a really strong, uh, it's got a really strong heavy attack, charged heavy attack. So 
So now it does 118 damage. But I'm not going to put any points into strength. This is just something that's going to get me by. I can afford three shards. I can farm them if I need to. This is just something that's going to get me by until I find a better agility scaling weapon. Oh. Are we doing some vandalism? Alright. I'm down to clown. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. Um, what happened here? Uh, I didn't see anything, guys. Did y'all see? Somebody somebody pushed this and ran off that way. Oh, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. We're going to jail, boys. All right. Oh, shit. Fuck you, you bitch. Got dicey. Uh, well, let's keep doing arcane. What was the difference in damage? 113, 120, 118. It's almost the same. Shit, fuck you. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't open the pathway here. I'd have to jump down into it. Let me think about it. Let me think about that. Oh, hi. Okay. Um, come on, then. God damn, son. I might actually change my mind about this fucking hammer. It's slower than I remember it being. I'm gonna go back to the fucking sword. Well, it was a cheap, pretty cheap uh, experiment there. Still got plenty of shards. Yeah, this is a better weapon. It doesn't have the range on that attack, but it's also so much or the fucking hammer. Alright, it's fine. So we're gonna come back here if we need to. Oh, this wasn't open before. Okay, uh, should we heal? Let's heal. Wait, what? What did I just do? What did I just do? Oh, I did that weapon imbue thing. I forgot that was a thing.
What? Why are you? So you trace of the enemy's foul power. So is that one of those dragon oil? What if I do that and then combine it with a the dragon shard? Create a rare dragon shard. This glimmer, the glimmer of magic signs much more strongly from this incandescent splinter than from its commonly found counterparts. No, I don't want... That's probably if you want to upgrade something to, like, at a certain point, you'd probably have to have that kind instead. Right? You do not consider yourself squeamish, but the thought of this tool's purpose, the internal matter extracted from cadavers during the embalming process, makes your gorge rise. The Great Pan Priests, the Karsha, the Karshahanth, the Karsha, the Karshant, divined the true nature of the body long ago. The outer shell, Liorshk, the skin and flesh, is a sheath composed elements of the world around us. Earth and air and water combine to create a protective container for the true life within the brain and organs. Mirsk. For there is the seat of true life. Without the Mirsk, the pan is but an empty vessel waiting to be filled with sacred power. It made sense, then, to the Kar Shant that upon death the Mirsk must be removed from the Liorsk. Only once that separation has been accomplished may proper burial take place. The techniques, tools and implements used in the separation have been refined and improved upon over the generations so that now the burial process approaches a fine art. Some have said that the lower ranks of the Karshant even hold competitions to see whose separation acumen is the best, with the winner determined by whose Miersk is left most intact. Gross. Super gross. Okay, so, I just, just to be clear here, we've got Suddenly, we have so many options, suddenly. So... We still haven't been down that way. Let's just keep going left. <clears throat> Let's hit, we're, well, okay. We're gonna go this way. Let me justify myself to you. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna continue on this part of the map until we have found everything that there is to find. The always go left thing doesn't always hold up. We would have gone, the thing is, we would have gone here on the way in had that door been open. That's why we're going in. Oh, what's this? You do not recognize the fiber of which this slender cord has been woven. That's a slender cord? That road's fat, the rope's fat as fuck. But despite its lightweight, it seems much sturdier than the rough hemp you used back home. Okay. Do I need to combine something with something else in my inventory now or something? I've got so much shit. Combining the sturdy rope with the finely wrought embalming hook produces what should be an effective tool for scaling vertical spaces. That rope just seemed like it needed to be combined with something. Just seemed like the thing to do. Oh, what's this? Please, God, tell me this is an agility weapon. It's probably not even a weapon at all. A steady and deadly grace, the spear could just as easily be an object of war as an object of art as a weapon of war. Acquire the pan spear. Oh, it is a weapon. Agility! Agility affinity 1.6! Agility affinity 0.6! Oh, you're killing me! 113, and this only does 100 damage? It's, it's got some serious range, though.
Let's try it, but I'm pissed at this week. 0.6 agility. It is agility, right? I read that right, right? Ah. 0.6. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, well. No, we're done down here, right? Yeah, we're done down here. Hold on, I'm actually not 100% sure. I should have looked around. I'm 99% I'm sure that we're done down here. But let me just have another quick look, just to make sure. Because, uh, what down, uh, camera, hello. Alright, that's where the weapon was. And this is where the freaking, um, uh, rope was. Okay, alright, we're good. What is that noise? It sounds like somebody's washing machine is going. Done everything down here. Oh, right. This is all that shit. Okay. So that's a possible thing that we can do later. If we need to jump down there. We haven't tried to fall from that kind of a distance before. The option doesn't usually become available to do that. It seems like it might kill us. But if we have nothing else to do, we might try it. This is where that guy was. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I called him a mummy. I was right. He is a mummy. Like a whole mummy situation going on here. Alright, that's where we came from. So now we're going to go this way and see what this is. I'll tell you what, I don't like the look of this. Thunder, acquire the Lightning Stone. You can feel its energy permeating your muscles, your bones, and you know that if called upon, the Lightning Stone will issue forth an elemental blast of e electricity, momentarily stunning foes. I don't care about the fucking achievement. Thank you. When am I going to get another heal? Alright, let's look at the stone. Let's try it. Okay. All right, so that's a dead end. All right, now what's next? We couldn't get through here, right? Right. We need some kind of key. There's the guy playing. His pipes. Oh, yeah, we haven't been this way yet. Okay, so just remember there's that place where we could try to drop down if we absolutely run out of anything else that we can do. But we have not been this way yet. <clears throat> Agility point six. Are you guys going to make me fight you both at the same time? Damn it. And with a new weapon, too. Actually, you know what? Let's let's have a better controlled environment before we whip that fucking thing out. Oh, my God. 
Yes! Awesome. Got the level and everything. Let's go. Alright. Point six, looking at that point six just pisses me off. Point six? I mean, come on, dude. Give me a fucking s whole number at least. Oh, this guy's got projectiles. Alright. Again, I don't. I don't want to use that new weapon. Oh, fuck you. You can throw through objects. Okay, great. Great. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're okay. Uh, other than that one, that long drop, though, this is the only way forward. So what are we going to find here? There's plenty of doors that we found. I think two. There's two doors that we've that are locked. Oh, but they're not key locks because they don't oh, take us to our inventory. Those are just doors that are locked on the other side. Okay, what's this? We need the pipes that that guy is playing. Right? That's what it seems like. Okay, we got a dead end, which means unless I've missed something, we just need to jump down to that area. Because anything earlier than this is linear, yeah. This guy, hey buddy. No idea how I'm going to get up there. Okay, that's one locked door right there next to the pan guy at the very beginning of the area. And then that we've seen already. This is where the mummy guy is. I guess these aren't like false doors or anything, right? The one area we just went into to get the lightning thing was a false door, and it was... Oh, this door was already opened by the other people, yeah, so... <sighs> we don't need anything in here. So it's just one door, then? Alright. Okay, there is a significant chance that this is going to kill me. That's a risk I'm going to have to take because there's nothing else to do, I don't think. So this is the way this is going to play out. I'm going to climb up here, I'm going to jump down. If it doesn't kill me, great, we move on, figure it out. If it does kill me, I'm going to look up what to do next because I have exhausted all my other options. I haven't had to use a walkthrough with this game yet. I got very close last night. But I didn't end up having to f I figured it out in the last minute. 
what to do. There was just an area that I hadn't been to yet. But here, pretty sure this place has been pretty straightforward. Oh, there's an interact button. We gotta use the fucking rope. I didn't even try to interact with it. Okay. Let's go. Awesome. Can I interact with any of the statue? No. Okay. Alright, cool. Crisis averted. I don't know what that symbol means, but it looks serious. Are we about to have to fight something? No, not in this room. Okay, I remember seeing these guys. Alright, good. Progress. Making progress. Can we see... Yeah, that's certain death. Don't, don't fall down. It will almost certainly... Well, no, not almost certainly. That will kill you. There's no doubt about it. Well, it might do that thing where it just takes some of your life away. Some newer souls like to do that. But, mm, this doesn't strike me as that type of game. I bet it just straight up kills me. Buddy. Yeah, I got that shit too, bitch. Oh, fuck you. See? Fuck you, you hoe. Fucking bitch! We might need to heal again. Level 26, age 25. Our level is now higher than our age. Awesome. Alright. Watch out for ambushes. You do not want to die right now. Not when you've still got healing enough to do. I probably ought to just heal, right? Yeah. Oh, wrong button. That is not the healing button. Okay, so we've got a ladder. That's option one. Or we can go outside. Oh, yes! Are you kidding me? Perfect fucking timing. Perfect fucking timing. A third heal. Love it. Glad I healed. Yep, healing was the right move. Again. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go back to what we were doing and do that um, this time. I don't want to get too crazy with the arcane shit. Alright, so this is the only way forward. This is the only way forward. There's that door that have the that where I have to put the musical instrument. I will have to go back to that, but for right now, this is the only way I can go. Okay, we've got a number of things here that look interesting. One is a staircase that leads to nothing. 
That is sus as fuck. There's gotta be a way to open that or something. What is that? That's weird. And then, ah! Open the shortcut. Great. Awesome. Oh yeah, there's the flute guy. Alright, or the, whatever, the pipe. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay. Whatever this is, it's got to be pretty important. Because we don't have anywhere else to go. Simple container feels surprisingly heavy. It's a container? Can I open it? Labyrinth box. Either it contains something of significant mass, or the box itself has been constructed of robust weighty material. No lock or latch of any kind presents itself, itself to you at first glance. This merits a closer look. This gem shape is unlike any other you've seen in your time on this side of the world stone. Labyrinth Rune. Like a clever combination of both key and keyhole, it leaves no doubt that it was meant to function in connection with a lock, but what lock and where? Is there something else that I need to... Oh. Okay, I was like, well, I don't know what to do. Labyrinth Room 1. So there's more than one. Okay. Good. Alright, so again, only way forward. Give me just a sec. All right, probably need to wrap this up fairly soon, but I don't know if we're going to do that. We might be stuck on this for a while. I mean, we, we the last time it took three hours to get done with the, the boss and everything. Dragon inscribed box. Got another one of those. Okay, so how many of those do we have now? Like four, five? Oh, three. Oh, we used one. Three sounded low. Okay, so. I can't tag him. Oh, he's moved. He's moved inside. Okay, I thought maybe there was one more than one for a while, which made me think maybe they were enemies. But uh, no, this guy's not an enemy. Hey, dude, I need, uh, I don't know how to say this, but, like, I need that to open a door. I know that doesn't make any sense, but, like, just can you give it to me before I kill you? A traveler approaches. Meet the pan One of whose kind I have heard in whispers. It is Batsutek, foreign to the pan. I need that flute. Living beings require many things, Batsutek. Perhaps I will part with this possession. If the Paxeltech proves itself worthy. Oh god, what is this? Shall I ask? Three chances shall it have. Uh, 
All right, give me your riddles. Pay heed, Paxel Tech. Okay, I'm paying heed. Alive, I am not. Yet still I grow. Lungs, I have not. Yet breathe, I must. Teeth, I have not. Yet all I devour. What am I? Breathe. What breathes that doesn't is alive. Oh, a fire. I don't remember the first part of the riddle. Growing, roaring, devouring, fire consumes all. The battle deck <clears throat> is clever. So let me do a better job of remembering the, the riddle. This. I have no doubt the Paxel deck will conquer this one. Listen, I have eight to spare and am covered with hair. What am I? Eight to spare and am covered with hair. A cat. Indeed, the fur-covered cat has eight lives to spare out of nine, if the old tales are to be believed. Most admirable. Okay, what's what your... What weighs more? A pound of wood or a pound of ore? They weigh the same, asshat. It should savor this small victory. Of course, a pound of ore and a pound of wood weigh the same. One pound. The Paxotec has earned the flute. Here, take the prize. And a little bit more as well. It shall need any and all advantages as What else are you going to give me? Graceful instrument splits into two perfectly symmetrical, gently curving sections, not unlike a wishbone. What else did you give me? You didn't give me anything else. Alright, fuck you then. What was the little bit more then? Alright, well we know what to do with this. And there's no way to move forward, right? There's definitely no way to move forward from here, right? I don't like that I can't break these bases. Pisses me off. Alright, again. Only one way to go. Only one place that we can go. And it's going to be... Uh... Over here. Took me a minute to remember. So again, this is the only way forward. <clears throat> we're doing good. I feel like we're making decent time. Oh, it's a drawbridge. All right. Oh shit, what's that? It's like an Aztec temple. Shit. Bring it, motherfucker. I'm ready. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I was hit I was hitting your friend. Shit, I wasn't locked onto him. Alright, yeah, 
they did some damage, that's okay. Got ambushed again. Alright, so we've got path one, path two. This looks like it might be a dead end. Let's investigate that. No, it is not a dead end. Okay, alright. <clears throat> Let's go this way first. Left first. <clears throat> the other path looks like it's more likely to be the way forward anyway, because it goes right to that temple. Oh, hi. Being careful. Oh, I thought that was a save point for a second. I guess I guess they just don't matter that much in this game. They really don't. Ah, I was correct. This is a dead end. Good. What are we gonna find here? A note and an item? Well read. Read ten books or scrolls. Day one, another trip with Ford and the team through the Datla today. We find ourselves in an artfully crafted village built high in the treetops. Trees the size of redwood sight rise up from below us, <clears throat> while the forest canopy above covers everything in sight. Through the fog under the canopy appears an enormous ziggurat, like the ancients used to build. Native life forms are present. Ziggurat, I think is how that's pronounced. Native life forms are present and aware of our arrival, but haven't engaged us. They appear to be intelligent, and their likeness brings to mind mythical... Fawn from folklore and fairy tales. It's easy to become enchanted with our surroundings, but Ford is keeping us on guard. I'm not sure what we're dealing with yet. Day two. The team made it to ground level of the forest this morning. While exploring a ridge overlooking the ziggurat, natives approached and surrounded us. Their weapons were drawn, and they had us cornered at the edge of the ridge. We backed off the ridge and into a cave for safety. At the moment... We've been left inside unharmed, but they are keeping guard at the entrance. Ford suggests we remain here, sleep in shifts to keep watch and try to get out of here in the morning. While some of us are frightened, the captain seems to have it under control. Day 5. As morning arri arrived, two guards rushed into the cave and grabbed Captain Ford. When several of us tried to take him back by force, one of our men was killed in the exchange. Ford insisted that we stand down, and they took him away. Later in the day, the captain was returned to us unscathed. He told us that he was brought before their queen. His attempts to communicate with her were unsuccessful, and she f seemed angry about our presence. Ford thinks it best that we find a way to leave here as soon as possible. With a man down and the cave still under guard, escape seems unlikely. We'll be spending another night in the cave. Day 6. Still stuck inside with no hopes of getting out anytime soon. We're running out of water and food rations, and the end of the day is drawing near. Now there's a large bonfire on the ridge just outside the cavern. Hundreds of natives have gathered and are performing chants and rituals. It appears to be escalating towards... Something, and Ford says it can't be good for us. He believes that we won't survive the night. I've never seen our captain afraid. We shouldn't have come. The thin, sharp-edged rectangle has the feel of something Grandmother told you about. Plastic. Oh, a key card. That's from the very beginning of the game. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's finish looking in this area, but then we're going to go deal with the, the key card at some point. Alright, one more enemy, maybe two. Then we'll get a level, but <clears throat> we're wounded. 
so we need to be real careful. <clears throat> Probably more than one of them. Oh, there's a... Okay, that guy looks like he's not fucking around. Uh... Oh, I've seen those guys. Okay, we're alright, we're alright. As long as we stay away... What the fuck was that? Oh, the fucking projectiles. That's what it was. Stay locked on at one target, you motherfucker! God damn it. <laughs> okay, that that went pretty poorly. <clears throat> but it's all right. <coughs> okay, again. Here we are again. This is the only way forward, except for going back and using the keycard. But in this area, this is the only way forward. What are we going to find in here? Oh, ambush is waiting for us. Oh, what's this? Okay. All right. Um. Okay, that's a big guy. Let's go left first. Look out for ambushes. Can we walk over this? No. Oh. I was like, what's the point of this at spot? Something about it, the symbols on it. W16 strikes you as familiar, calling to mind the island of the world stone. Yep. <clears throat> You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna upgrade my fucking sword. that guy. Those perfect parries are underrated. Or, they're underrated by me, is what I mean. I should be tr trying to focus on that more. Okay. 
second I thought he dropped that super cool weapon. Nope, just dematerialized half a second after the rest of his body did. Okay, this is the only way to go. I feel like we might be getting close. There's definitely a boss in this building somewhere. It's just a question of... Oh, look at that. It's just a question of how... Um... how big this area inside the temple is. The temple's obviously very big, but how much of it is actually accessible? That's the question. Uh, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the, the, the original area and see what the key card is all about. See what the deal is with the key card. Because there's no way there's a boss there. Right? There's no way. So it's gotta be... It's got to be uh, either an item or <clears throat> a weapon, like some, like maybe a key item that I need for this area. Who knows? I don't remember. W16. I remember W16. It was that room that we couldn't get into that had the, the enemy in it. I don't remember where it was, though. It's good that the elevators still work. That's nice. Everything else has been dead for presumably hundreds of years, but those elevators are still chugging. Still chugging along. <clears throat> If this is the right way or not, I have no idea. This doesn't look right. I think this is like the very, very, like where I started, isn't it? Yep. <clears throat> okay. We went the wrong way. That's all right. Give me just a sec. It. We still got time.
very curious to see what we're going to find here. Very curious. I hope it's a weapon. That's what I'm hoping for. An agility scaling weapon, obviously. <clears throat> I want to say W16 was in here. Nope, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. There it is. Okay, now, but then over here, before I open that door, over here there was another key card reader that was broken, right? Restricted area, key card access only. Can I use the silver locket as a circuit completer? No, that would have been cool. Does silver even work that way? Probably not. Okay, so that 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 I can't. That I can't. There's something else I need to get through that, and I have no idea what it is. What could it be? Pieces of wires? She doesn't seem like she's like a well-versed electrician. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, now there is an enemy in here. Let's take care of the enemy first. deaths. What does that bring us to? 26. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. We'll wake up right there. It's no big deal. Other than the fucking eight year of our lives that's gone. Oh, we have attribute points? Mm. Let's start putting it into strength. We might as well. Nah, let's just do Arcane. That's going to be important later, I'm sure of it. Alright, we should be able to beat this guy with full life and full heals. Damn it. I 
I have to use the key card every time. It doesn't just stay unlocked. Fine. that oh it's one of the special ones interesting rare dragon shard okay um let's see if there's anything important in here oh it's one of those doors Oh, I don't know if I want to do this right now. What? Maybe I should go back. If this ends up being a whole separate area, I don't want to do all this now. Wait a minute. What was the... Okay. All right, I tell you what. Let's go back to the place we were just at. Apparently we can't. Apparently we can't just simply go back because I didn't memorize the fucking. I guess I could have taken a f snapshot on it of it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So we've got this door, but we can't change the, can we? No, we can't change where it goes. Okay. Let's see what's down here. A 
the fuck is this? Loading boot menu. Diagnostic. Codename Labyrinth. Testing signal. Okay. Testing vital signs. Nominal. Notes. June 20th, 1968. Unlike the end of their subject, Subject 3323's connection to the extra-dimensional being informally known as Clawbone appears to have established a kind of neural feedback loop. This feedback has expanded outside of 3323's mind and in fashion none of us yet understand, begun influencing nearby electromagnetic fields, including the subject's life support and diagnostic equipment. Dr. Harsgaard noticed yesterday that while 3323's equipment is clearly drawing power, it is no longer registering on the facility's grid. Quabone and 3323 have become, for lack of a better term, mutually sustaining. We're gonna kill somebody today? Let's wait. Um, let's, let's see what else is in here before we... Okay, this guy's dead. Let's look at his computer. Loading boot menu, diagnostic, codename Cyclops. Codename Cyclops? Testing okay, vital signs deceased. Is this the Cyclops? Subject complained of persistent headache and mild nausea after removal from the chair. As for Dr. Harsgaard, the time in the chair increased from 12 to 16 hours daily. June 6. By orders of Dr. Harsgaard, subject not to be removed from chair until further notice. Monitor vitals and report any anomalies to Dr. Harsgaard himself. June 20. Cobbledygook. Termination failed. Cyclops? And he's dead? Are these the bosses? In the game? Inventory? I didn't notice that before. Diagnostic. Codename Many Faces. Testing signal. Okay. Testing vital signs. Nominal. January 8th. Subject is acclim accl acclimatizing quickly to the device. Elevated heart rate has been remedying. Now ma maintaining nominal vital signs. February 12th. Researchers here have dubbed this fearsome entity Garion after a Greek mythological giant with three heads. The name does not fit our precisely, but the destruction of which our version of Garion is capable is monstrous without a doubt, and the name has stuck. Of note is the wide variation in sensory input we see through the neural connection depending on which aspect Garion chooses to manifest. By order of Dr. Harsgaard, subject not to be retuned from chair until further noticed. Termination failed. Garion. Many faces. What was this guy's name? Labyrinth. Code name Labyrinth. Termination of entity successful? Oh, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that to happen. Okay, and then... Does this have... Okay, so... Garyon, or what... What was the other name? Was it Many... Many Faces. Uh... 
determination failed, so I can't do that on this one. But I have an inventory menu option. I just noticed something. That diamond is very close. Can I combine this with the toy soldier windup? No. Because it has a diamond in the middle, that's the only reason I was wondering. Okay, alright. That must have been what we have come what we came what we came here to do. What we were supposed to do. Because that's a dead end now. We killed the labyrinth. Or we killed the boss of the labyrinth? And uh, let me hold on. Let me read this again. Connection to an dimensional being, formerly known as Clawbone, appears to have established a kind of neural feedback loop. This feedback has just expanded outside the mind, influencing electric magnetic fields. Clawbone and three three two three have become, for lack of a better term, mutually sustaining. So, doing this has weakened the boss of the area that we are in. That's what it is. That's gotta be what it is. How incredibly interesting. Oh, wait a minute. This is gonna, it's gonna be faster to go back this way. Alright, we're done here. We're done here. How how fascinating. What an interesting twist. Oh shit, hold on a second. Alright, we can use this here to travel back to where we were. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. I think. Okay, what an, well, yeah, that is such a fascinating layer. Cyclops is dead. He's already dead. I killed him. We don't know what the many faces guy's up to. That must be the last one, I bet. Oh shit. Oh, we've died since we. That's right. The fucking Ward 16 guy killed us. Alright, well, we're about to gain a level. We might as well just do it now. I need to be able to see my character, please. XP for me. Oh, 
Okay, and if I remember correctly, this is locked, yes? Yes. So this is probably a pretty big area. This is a big level. Oh, maybe not. Uh... Okay. What is this? When are you all gonna aggro? Shit, I hit the wrong button. Thank you for waiting, guys. Appreciate that. What? Do I need to wait for you to attack? Oh, they are strong. What? Bitch, let's go. Don't do that, Nick. Don't do that. Get fucked, Red Widow. Oh shit. I got stuck. Let's go. 
the royal hind that's clearly an item meant to be used in ceremonies and rituals along lines of sta the staff we lead your eyes to the enormous rich enormous gem rich orange gemstone set into its crowning piece defeat the red widow is that a is that a weapon no what is it Pan Queen Scepter. An example of masterful craftsmanship, its value seems incalculable. I haven't I have one of these that hasn't been opened? Hmm. I had two of them that hadn't been opened. Really? Okay. Um does that need to be combined with something? I mean... Okay, so we, we did it. We did it. Um, I was wrong. This area wasn't that big, I guess. Really? Right back into the fucking fray, huh? I mean, we need to find a stopping point, but I, I figured there'd be like a... The fuck, man? You guys know I killed your queen, right? I figured this would be it for the area. But here we are, still doing shit. Another painting. And there's nothing I can do here. Can I interact with this? I need to make sure that I'm trying to interact with everything like this I come across. That's how I missed that jump with the rope thing earlier. What's this? It's another thing for the sector. Oh no, it isn't. Okay, we'll get back to that in a second. What? Oh shit. Dropping those things like crazy now. It looks like the shape of this scepter. Can I combine this with something else? So I don't know what that is. Uh, we need to find a stopping place. 
I figured this was going to be the end of this area, but I, I guess I'm wrong. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, that is not the button I meant to push. That is a stupid ass hitbox right there. All right. Um, I mean, is this not the end of the area? Where, where are we going? What are we doing? The iframes on those dodges are very generous. That's the way to do it, man. You can dodge through anything in this game. If you get the timing right. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm looking for a save point. Oh, for Christ's sake! Should I just stop? I guess there's more level to be done here. Oh, bullshit. I fucking hate that combo. Fuck you. Give me your shard, bitch. Oh, I've got four attribute points? I must have gotten a bunch of levels from that. Uh... Must have gotten a bunch of levels from that boss that I didn't know about. This guy might kill me. You gotta be real careful. That hitbox on that attack is so stupid. Alright, we're okay. What's the, what's, what are we reading here? Long and long did we sail across the Viak Marja, the vast dark sea. Ho Pan. Ho Pan? Ho Lan? Ho, Ho Pan could leave the great ship during the voyage. During this voyage. No islands to explore. No. Fr uh, oh, no. No man? No. No something. Could leave the great ship during the voyage. No islands to explore, no fresh water to take on. Years of the voyage took us years aboard the ship, and the only... Is that an M? Did so in death. 
It was the decree of the... Oh, was it a... No, that's a C. It was the decree of the captain reserved solely for those whose minds lost their strength and bent and broken and confined yet. Uh, any, I'm going to say it's man. Any man who killed another or through indifference allowed another man to die faced expulsion. And expulsion meant death as well. For the, re ex for the exit of the ship was the great lock through which we entered and only through which could, we could not escape. Man who died passed through the lock. And our brothers and sisters who committed grievous crimes who committed grievous crimes, those the captain forced through the lock. Out into the great dark waters they were sent, and we knew, every man knew, that they would not be seen again. Okay. Got some- oh shit! Oh, that hurt me. All bow legged now. Uh, is this some kind of puzzle? Okay. Do that in order or something? Oh, I do. Do I have to do it in order? Fuck's sake. Uh, that doesn't look like it's supposed to happen. If that happens to me again, I will die. That's an interesting bug. Okay, so... Okay, this is simple enough. As long as I don't fuck it up. But what now? What are we doing here? Fortunate indeed are we to have the privilege of worshipping the one of many. Mortal faces he by presently he mortal uh, one of mortal faces one of many mortal faces lie by presenting only one set of features one face to convey all emotions and intents deceit lies at the root not so the one of many he possesses multiple faces and so his honesty is without question by his very nature anger sadness joy all displayed via the connection between heart and soul and outside the world. One of many follows a path between Yorshik and Mirshik. Mirshk. That ordinary man can only dream of. Body and soul. Is basically what that means. This better be open. I don't know where to go after this. Oh shit, hold on. I don't, I can't fight, I can't fight this motherfucker. Fucking 
motherfucker! That was the save point right there. God damn it, you fucking projectiled me. <sighs> that was the shortcut. That was the shortcut. Hold on a second. Okay, all right, I need to be done soon. It was, uh, this door. It was this fucking door. The thing is, I don't know what to do now. How old am I? 27 now? That's where I need the special ones. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, um... I'm gonna go get that fucking lock. It shouldn't take me very long. Oh, that didn't kill you? Bullshit. There we go. Getting damage. Just not getting it in threes and fours anymore. I'm getting it in ones and twos, which is okay. I just want to unlock that door. And then what's the deal with this? That's what we need to know. What's the deal with this door? gonna go back to the um We're gonna go back to that door, unlock it, and then we're probably gonna stop. Cause I don't know what to do after this. What's the point of all this? It's just so that I can get to that fucking thing I just interacted with a moment ago. Yeah. <laughs> 
fucking wrecked. I destroyed that guy. Almost there. Gotta do all that moon shit again. But at least I know what to do this time. Excuse me. There we go. I was like, well, am I not hitting him? Right, okay. I know how to do this now. Oh, this. That's going to be the way forward. Down there. Okay. We'll stop there. Okay. Alright. Good. The game is good. The game is real good. I just, uh... Fucked right at the end of there, but that's okay. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you.